All right, friend on the internet who builds some pretty amazing Franken guns is having a problem with his latest build not ejecting very well. After he took apart his bolt, he discovered that the Wilson Combat ejector springs were three coils short. The drawing calls for 27 coils and his only had 24. So I've taken two cold springs, you can see they're about even on that end, and chopped off three coils. And then we have a Sprinko spring, two Sprinko springs, you can see the ends are about even, and then three coils cut off. This is not really a Sprinko versus Colt. This is more of a test to show how much ejection spring pressure is lost when your spring is three coils short. Now the spring tester I got set up here before anyone asks, I don't know where you can buy one like this anymore, they're discontinued. This is a zero to 60 scale, which is excellent for what I bought it for, uh, motorcycle valve springs, but it works really well for the springs on the AR-15. So I've got a bolt, which of course has a .250 tail, fits perfectly in this quarter inch socket adapter. In fact, you can probably hear it snap in. And it sets on the spring tester, which is sitting on a brick, which is on a rag to keep my spring tester from getting scratched up. And we're gonna test it first with the Colt spring full coils, full 27 coils, and then we're gonna see what we get. I already know what we get, cause I have done this test before, and nothing has changed. So we put the spring in, and then we're gonna put the ejector in the correct way. And then I have in the drill press, a quarter by 28 bolt. That's my press pad, and then we'll press it down and get it lined up first. And then we'll see how much spring tension we get. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna zoom the camera in so that you can see the gauge reading better. All right, let's go. Colt, 27 coils. So what you don't wanna do is over compress because then you're compressing the entire assembly down. You can feel when it touches. You can see the you can see the needle jump. So this coat reads about 10 and 3 quarters pounds. So we'll round that up to 11. That's the coat full 27 coils. Now we're going to swap it to the coat that I cut 3 coils off. And we're going to put in the a smaller shorter spring to replicate what the man on the internet was experiencing and we're getting eight pounds so we've lost almost 30 percent of our spring pressure by having a cutting off just three coils. That's about 30%, about eight pounds. Wow. All right, next up, we're going to put in the Sprinko, one with the 27 coils. And it, by the way, is the same length as the Colt. And in goes the ejector. Spring coals generally read less than the coat. And the spring co reads slightly less than 10 or almost 10. I, I'd call that about 9.9. .9. All right, so the spring co reads about 10% lower than the coat. That's normal because I've checked a bunch of these already previously. 
Now, let's go with the shorter Sprinko. 24 coils versus 27. And this one reads seven pounds. So we lost about 20% of a sprinkle. And that is not going to eject very well. All right, I'll show you one other thing I discovered while doing this. And this is the shorter Sprinko already cut. Uh, no, this one is. The Sprinkos are these black looking, black looking springs. I was stunned how easy it was to cut through this spring using these uh, safety wire pliers. Now, granted, these safety wire pliers are designed to cut stainless steel safety wires, so they're pretty sharp. But as you'll notice, it just it just goes right through it without little effort. I was stunned by that. Now we're gonna take the short coat one, which is made out of music wire, I believe, instead of chrome silicon. And it took considerably more effort to cut. <clears throat> there it goes. I don't like that. But that's Sprinko for you. I personally would not use these springs. I don't I wouldn't even use them in my pistol grip. And they have a reputation of rusting and corroding. There's all kinds of photos on the internet of corroded spring co extractor, ejector, and buffer springs. All right, you lose about 20 to 30% if your spring is just three coils short. You can also measure the free length, but I believe counting the coils is the best way to do it because the drawing calls for 27 coils. All right, got something to do with the spring coat springs here. You can see the gauge really good. Bye bye. This was the setup I was using for holding my camera. And, uh, drill press. This is thing is 30 years old. Still f runs flawless. I have been working on, I found Evaporust does work really good. Used it to clean up all this tabs and dabs that had surface rust. And this looks like a chrome bolt carrier group right here. <laughs> Great. Oh. Spring goes spring. Right where it belongs. Now, last thing I want to say, if you think I'm giving you advice to use Colt stuff, how is that bad advice? Think about it. <laughs>